Hello and welcome to the next Synergist EDS installment regarding your Autodesk account. Today's topic is about activating your entitled Autodesk software after it's been installed. There are three basic types of activations. The first method is called the Autodesk ID or sign-in method. This type of license is associated to a single user subscription or was originally called cloud-based or click licensing. This type of activation requires no serial number or basically no serial number was issued or assigned to your given product. For the activation to actually work, the use of the product must be assigned to the end user's Autodesk account. The next one, which has been around for many, many years, is the serial number and product key activation method. Here, a given serial number and product key is assigned to your product, and it doesn't matter if you, were you, if you have a perpetual license or a single user subscription license. When you have a perpetual license, a request code from your PC is used to generate an activation code from the Autodesk server. This code is then used to activate your product. In a single user subscription method, the additional sign-in is using your Autodesk ID as the mean of activating instead of the code. Like the sign-in method, the use of the product must be assigned to the end user's Autodesk account for the activation to work. The code method of the serial number activation is tied to a given PC where the sign-in method of the serial number activation is tied to the end user and not to a given PC. The final activation method is the network license. In the network activation method, the activation of the product comes from the license file that was generated based on the information provided at that time. Prior to the 2017 product release, when the software was installed or a deployment was created, the serial number and product key that was going to be used for activation was required as part of that install process. For the 2017 and 2018 product line, the selection of the activation type occurs after the product is installed, meaning the installation process no longer requires the activation information to be presented before continuing with the installation. With the introduction of the 2017 product line, the sign-in method was introduced and was only available under certain conditions. For the 2017 or 2018 product line, the user is presented with the Let's Get Started three options as shown to activate their product. Also, under certain installation methods such as Install Now or Through a Deployment, the Let's Get Started dialog may not be present since it's known which method will be used. For the 2019 and 2020 product release and possibly future releases, the focus is more on a single user sign-in method or multi-user or network-based products. For those still using the serial number method as your activation, that option is located under the two options as shown. Since there are three methods of activating your product, how do you know which method you should be using to activate it? Your activation method can be seen through your Autodesk account, or you can verify this activation process through those who manage your products for your organization. For example, if I access my Autodesk account and expand my Maya LT products, I can see it states it's a single user subscription and the license type is Autodesk ID, or as you can see in the image that there was no serial number assigned to this given product. This means I would select the sign-in method on the Let's Get Started dialog. For the ACAT LT product, it is based on a perpetual license on a maintenance plan. The license type is standalone and its serial number and product key was issued. For the activation, I would select the serial number and product key method in the Let's Get Started dialog. Also, because my LT is a perpetual license, a unique serial number and product key is issued for each version I'm entitled to. When dealing with network-based products, a license file must be first generated by those who manage your organization's subscription and or contracts. The end user of network license-based products may or may not see these products under their Autodesk account. These products will only appear under those individuals who manage your subscription or contract. 
When it comes to network license activation on the end user machine, the selection of using a network license or the multi-user option in the Let's Get Started dialog is used, followed by entering the license server information. Let's summarize our activation processes again. For example, our license type is single user subscription and the activation type is sign in. On the Let's Get Started dialog, we would either pick the sign in or the single user option and sign in to our Autodesk account. If we had the same again, single user subscription, but we have our serial number, we would pick the enter serial number or pick the enter serial number link as shown in the image. Then we enter our serial number product key and then we would sign in. If we had a multi-user subscription, basically the activation type is network-based, we would pick the use a network license or multi-user on the Let's Get Started, and then we would specify our license server information. If we had a standalone perpetual license, activation type is serial number, again we would pick the enter serial number off the Let's Get Started dialog or the link that's below the single user and multi-user button, enter our serial number product key, and then it will activate based on our generated code. And finally, if we had a network perpetual license, we would just pick that use network license or the multi-user option and then specify our license server information. Let's finish this session up with additional information regarding the serial number and product key activation method. When you have a perpetual license, a serial number that is assigned to you is unique per the given Autodesk product and year version you are trying to activate. Although the product key is standard for everybody, it is still unique to the given product and version you have. When it comes to subscription-based product, and I'm going to at this time exclude the collection and AutoCAD will toolset, and we'll talk about those here shortly. The serial number is still unique to the products that you're trying to install but the serial number is still the same no matter what version you're installing, unlike a perpetual license. Again, the product key is standard for everybody, but it is per the product and version you're installing and activating. For example, your AutoCAD 2018, 2019, and 2020 version would all use the same serial number under a subscription-based product, but the product key would change for each given version. When we talk about collections or AutoCAD with tool sets, the same serial number is used for all the products in the collection or tool set, meaning Revit, AutoCAD MEP, AutoCAD, and etc. would all use the same serial number that was assigned to you. But the product key that will be used is solely based on the product and version you're trying to activate. There you have it, a look into your Autodesk software activation. Stay tuned for additional sessions on your Autodesk account. Have a great day.